Hey guys, welcome back to another Chevy Volt video. This video is all going to be about putting the Volt to sleep. Prep it up to, uh, you know, for a long-term storage. So the main things we need to do is I need to put non-ethanol fuel in here. I also need to pressure wash it at a pressure washer. Make sure all the little dust between the cracks are gone and a little sand maybe because we don't want anything to scratch it. And ultimately we're going to cover it with a cover. So that's the plan for this car and let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some ethanol free gas. So the tank is about a quarter, so we're probably going to put three or four gallons in there. And here we have a gas station that has non-ethanol fuel. As you can see guys. Alright, so... There's no special procedure. So the non-ethanol is a 90 grade. A little bit more money than the rest, but not too bad. Begin fueling. All right, that's probably all I want to put in there. I want to leave it a little bit of room for next time. You know, when the car starts driving again, they have put fresh fuel in it. All right, so the next part we'll be doing is we're gonna be rinsing the car off because we don't want any kind of sand in the vault. All right guys, so we're done with that. And so basically what we've done is we've got all the little, you know, sand that was maybe in between somewhere out of the car. So we're trying to minimize any kind of particles that will scratch the car when it's under the cover. So now we're ready to go back and start tucking her in. So now that we got the fuel in there, how do we get our fuel to the engine to run through there? You know, because we're still on battery here and I've burned only about half of it. So there's you know still more to burn i can't really use the engine or force the engine to be used on this model because i want that new fuel to run through the engine that way the non-ethanol fuel you know gets in all the pipes and all the engine components so what i'm going to do to initiate the engine is i'm going to open the hood down there so let's see if we do that so i'm going to pop the hood and there goes our engine it actually started as you can see Anyway, so I'm gonna let the car run probably like 15, 20 minutes like this just to make sure everything goes through good. All right guys, so we've been running for a little while. And I think that's enough. So we're gonna go ahead and close the hood. And right when we close it, the car turns off. So we're gonna go ahead and shut it down well actually the next thing we need to do is we need to charge up this battery and I want to get it relatively full because it's going to be sitting for a while and you know it'll drain itself eventually so I'm just going to turn that off and the charger starts charging you guys can see it there. let's check on the battery how much it charged and it looks like we are pretty much full almost oh we are full yeah, so it's still charging, but it's almost full. So this is perfect. So we can go ahead and go to our next step. So before we do anything else, we need to unplug it from the charger. Close this up, and then we will be going to the back next. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the 12-volt battery. The first time I left it for a while is I left the 12-volt battery connected. Eventually, it drained and died, and the whole battery I had to replace. So from now on, I've been disconnecting it, and that's been working very well for me. So the 12 volt battery is actually under here and there's two little caps here. Okay. So you got the negative 
and the positive on this side. So we're just going to be dealing with the negative here. It's already pretty loose from before, so we can just pull it off. But before we do that, let's go ahead and lock all the doors. That way we don't have to walk around and lock them all. So we're just going to lock it, and there we go. I'm going to put it in there so it doesn't touch it, and we're done. So now the car has completely lost power, and that is a problem. And the problem is, is this hatch here is electric so you will not be able to open this anymore here's the electric release button so if you close this right now you know you're gonna have to like get to the battery after this so there's two ways to get it either through here or through the hood there are pins up front where you can jump it and then you know unlock the hatch but the well, normally what I do so you know I don't have to have any kind of special tools is I will put the seats down like this both of them and leave them down so later because the when I close this trunk I can go through the side door crawl over here open this like that and still reach my terminal from here and connect it and then I'll have power and then I can you know open the latch from there so that's how I do it and later when I unlock it with the key right here because this is the only keyhole you got to get in the car you know then I'll open the door you know by pulling on the lever here and that unlocks it and then I can open this door and then I'll go like this and pull on that and connect the thing and then I'll have you know my power to the latch alright guys since you know if you did lock all your doors if you will if you are gonna lock them or not I am so make sure you don't don't lock yourself out you know don't leave the keys in the car I mean because there's no more power so you're gonna get locked out that kind of alleviates any problems electrically and anything you just disconnect the car and it's just going to be you know completely disconnected from any computers and electronics and it should be fine so whenever you're ready you can just close this trunk and that's it that'll be done all right so the next thing we're going to do guys is we're going to open this new car cover so every year i get a new car cover for this volt the reason why is because they don't last more than a year and these are really cheap they go for around 30 bucks or so so they're a really good deal and if you want a pretty cheap car cover i'll leave a link in the description so yeah it's the same kind i had last year so they do come in like a little pouch which is kind of nice if you needed it but the material underneath is like this soft felty stuff it's pretty good it doesn't scratch the car so so far it's been doing good and this is my third one so far so and that's what it looks like so it's a pretty decent fit because this is just a generic cover I think it's called a L3 because the Volt has such a short you know back here on the back it does have a little sag back here unfortunately but as it as this sits it kind of all straightens out a bit plus there are these little straps here that you can tighten between the two the two sides and it'll kind of stretch it a little bit better same thing here for the front you know you got two straps here here's the other side and then tighten it up and you're gonna have you know a little bit of a so when it's windy or anything this thing ain't gonna fly away on you I wish that this wasn't here I know these are reflectors and maybe good for like if you put it on the road but it kind of makes it stand out and draws attention if it was just you know without those it would be better but so pretty much that is the whole procedure that I'm doing to this thing so the front actually I didn't show you but the front has a really good fit here like it goes on really good there's a little bit of air here but it's not bad and by the way all these wrinkles and weird things they'll go away within like less than a month after it rains a few times sun rain sun this thing will get really flat on the car so all right guys if you enjoyed this video hit that like button check out my other volt videos and if you enjoyed the content and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one. peace